Producer Paul, because I was telling Lou, yeah. that my husband said, the next time this hose is on, buy three of them. Because look, it doesn't kink. Mm -mm. It's easy to coil. It's lightweight. Look at that. I mean, this is the kind of hose that every hose should be because of how strong it is and the way that it works. It's called the Bionic Steel Water Saving Heavy Duty Garden Hose. I mean, that says everything you need to know right there. It does. I mean, my God, and you've got three different sizes. You can get a 50 foot, the 75 foot, or the 100 foot, which is the most popular. They're all on five flex. If you want the largest one, the longest one, it's less than $10 to get it home on FlexPay. Yeah. For somebody who hasn't seen this yet, why do we rave about Isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Well, because here's the thing. I'm gonna show you one demonstration right off the bat that's gonna blow your mind. First of all, this is 304 stainless steel, which means that you can leave this outside year round. Even if you live by salt water, it's not gonna affect it. But here's that one demonstration. If I take a rubber hose just with two fingers <laughs> and I do that, yep. I can stop the flow of water in a rubber hose. That's if right. I take the bionic hose and try to do the same thing, I can't do it with two fingers. I'll take my whole hand and squeeze that as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. and I cannot get that to kink the way I can a rubber hose. So if just for that reason, <laughs> you say, you know what, I'm getting this. If you're just tired of dragging out 100 feet of hose and having the water stop when you get to your job that you're trying to do, right. you, you gotta get this. And here's the real secret behind this though, watch this animation because this is what's amazing. So there is a traditional rubber hose on the inside, a thin rubber hose, a sheath on the inside, okay. but it has all these stainless steel windings around it. If you imagine like the skin of a snake, the way the skin kind of intertwine. Mm -hmm. That's what this does, because notice what happens here. If I push it together, you're gonna see these very tightly come together, right? See that? Yes. But then when I pull it apart, they come apart. So they actually move depending on what you're doing. So that's what allows me to do this with it, to curve it, to have it bend like this, to have it flex like this. It's very, you can't cut it, you can't kink it, mm -hmm. and you cannot crush it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. all uh, good things. Okay, that's why these have been popular. We want you to see these in action as well. So you were saying that you're gonna see Lou. Yeah. I think you're wearing the same shirt. <laughs> no, I'm actually I'm not, I make sure. Oh, okay. And this is it's raining here today, but this is Lou in action. Take a look at this. Now, another great feature of the Bionic Coes is that it's lightweight and it's very easy to work with, as opposed to your rubber hose. And if you look at this reel right here, that's 100 feet of a traditional rubber hose on there. As you can see, not only does the 100 feet barely fit on there, but it's just a mess and it weighs a ton just for me rolling it back and forth like this. Come on over to the other reel and I'm gonna show you something. This is uh, the Bionic Hose attached to it. I'm gonna start reeling this in. And as I reel it in, I'm gonna not only pull in 100 feet of hose, I am gonna pull in in 200 feet of the Bionic Hose. Now, first of all, it's very, very light. Like, this is not in any way, shape, or form putting any stress on my arm. I'm not breaking into a sweat while I do this. It's very, very simple to do. Look at how easily I'm putting this 100 foot of hose on this reel. Very fast, very simple to do. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm coming up to the end of it. When I get to the end, I'm gonna attach a second 100 foot length. And this is actually one of the questions that people ask me a lot. Can I attach multiple lengths of Bionic Hose together to make a length that I want to customize it? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. So here's the second 100 feet going higher. Now remember, when we did the rubber hose, we could only put 100 feet on the exact same reel as this. But here we are putting another 100 feet of bionic hose on this reel. And you know the funny thing is, the 200 feet of the bionic hose is actually lighter, it feels lighter to me while I'm doing this. Boom. Done that quickly, 200 feet of bionic hose, 100 feet of the rubber hose. Look how neat that is and how simple that was for me to do. Okay, that was impressive. Right, <laughs> right, and that's, and that's actually what we've got right here. This, this is that 100 feet of the rubber hose, mm -hmm. and that's 200 feet of bionic hose on the exact same reel. I'm gonna tell you right now, we'd never get into the 100 feet of rubber hose on here. No. But let's just say, practically speaking, let's say you live like, um, in a place where there's a homeowners association, mm -hmm. and you know, or as I like to call it, the, the land of no, <laughs> where you can't do anything, okay? That's right. Take a look right here at this flower pot. There's a hundred feet of bionic hose in that flower pot right oh there. Oh gosh, that's so, so you funny. don't have to have a hose reel. If they tell you, look, you can't have a hose reel on the outside of your house, yeah. you can't have anything ugly like that, have a beautiful flower pot and keep that hose in there. But so, 
it's not just the fact that it's compact and that it's it's lighter. I mean, to really show you how light it is, look at these two scales right here, okay? okay. This is 100 feet of, of the rubber hose. This is 100 feet of Bionic hose. The rubber hose at 100 foot length is weighing in at 15 pounds, okay? Mm -hmm. The Bionic hose at 100 feet is almost half that weight. It's it's eight pounds. So it's a seven pound difference between the two, almost half. Yeah. And so if you think about it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That that as you're dragging 100 feet of hose around, it's gonna make a big difference on your back at the mm -hmm. end of the day. But here's the other thing too, because it's steel, all right? And what do we know about steel? It's tough, all right? If I take this saw and I come over here and start sawing on a piece of rubber hose, and this is just to simulate, you know, dragging it around, hitting sharp objects and things like that in yes. your yard. Look at that. Yes. Very easy for me to put a hole in it, okay? But watch this. If I take the saw, and I try to do this to the bionic hose, and I'm, again, I'm pushing nice and hard on there. Nothing. Look, nothing. Nothing, and that's why this is gonna last so much longer. And it's not just, you know, for cutting. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the pressure that goes into a hose. A rubber hose, once you get a weak spot in a rubber hose just from rubbing it or doing anything, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen is it's going to burst at that spot, okay? That's right. The bionic hose is rated up to 600 PSI, pounds per square inch. Right. For comparison, your house only puts out about 60. So oh. it's 10 times more pressure that it will handle than what your house could even possibly do. This is, I mean, it's a big deal. I it mean, that's why, I mean, it, it's steel. He's called the man of steel, not the man of rubber. Right. Because <laughs> you want strong and you want strength. And I know for us, whether it's something punctures it or just being out in the sun, it starts to degrade. If you've ever point. had a hose do that, you're not going to have that issue with this. Right. Um, just to remind you, You've got your option of a 50-foot hose, a 75-foot hose, or a 100-foot hose. You've got five flex on either one of them, no matter what. If you want the most popular, it's the 100-foot, and it's $9.99 on five flex pay just for this holiday weekend. So we do have more that we want you to see, but I'll tell you, already this is impressive. There is more uh, ready to see, and we're going to take go right on back out to outside to see Lou in action. Now, another great feature about the Bionic hose is that it is puncture resistant, okay? You're not gonna be able to put holes in your Bionic hose. And watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna step on the Bionic hose first with a pair of aerating spikes. And these are the kind of spikes that you use. Look at that. It's not going through it, it's not sticking to it, okay? And this is what you use to aerate your lawn. Now I'm gonna step on this rubber hose and let's see what happens with just one step on the rubber hose. Well. It seems that we put a couple of holes in that rubber hose. So remember, with the bionic hose, you're not gonna put holes in your bionic hose. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna look this good for years and years to come, and it's gonna stand up to whatever you can throw at it. One of the things about that bionic hose that's so you know huge is that it does stand up to abuse. I mean, mm -hmm. so uh, one of the reasons that a lot of us have started looking for alternative hoses above the above and beyond the rubber hoses that they take up a lot of room and that they're very very heavy. So we yeah. tried the expandable hoses. Yes. And I went through I don't know a half dozen expandable hoses. Me too. And what always <laughs> happens is it's either from dragging it around mm -hmm. and you get the thin spot in it and then it bursts right there, yep. or like you saw right there, you put a nick in it mm -hmm. and it starts leaking. You get this little stream of water a little fountain that comes out of it, <laughs> or you leave it in the sun. And that's a big deal here in Florida or Arizona or any place where it's really, really hot. Yeah. You leave your hose out in the sun mm -hmm. and it starts to uh, get brittle, the mm -hmm. rubber hose, and then all of a sudden it bursts because that is a weak spot. So we put the bionic hose and a rubber hose to the test with okay. heat. Take yeah. a look at this and I'll show you why the bionic hose is better for okay. this heat than the rubber hose. Okay. Now, one of the things that makes the Bionic hose amazing is the fact that it's made out of stainless steel. And that means it's gonna be a lot more durable compared to the hoses we're used to, like a rubber hose. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna torture it a little bit right now. I've got a heat gun right here, and the heat gun is not a blow dryer, even though it might look like one. This is actually used in construction to strip paint and melt things, you do all kinds of stuff with this, but it generates a tremendous amount of heat. Now, what we're doing really is simulating what happens to a hose when it's been sitting out in the sun year after after year, month after month, just sitting out there baking. Especially if you live in a warm weather climate like this. Now, you folks at home can't see this yet, but I can smell it. The rubber on this hose is actually starting to melt, okay? And actually, there's now smoke coming off of it. I'm gonna pull away the heat gun and I want you to see what's going on here. Now, look at the hose right there and clearly you can see it's melting, it's smoking, the rubber hose has burned. But look at the bionic hose. Not a mark on it, no discoloration. And that's how you know that this is going to be a product that's gonna 
to last you a very, very long time and stand up to the harshest of the elements. That's why you can use this day in, day out, and all year round without having to worry. Here's the actual hose that we were using outside, and I've obviously burned it a couple of times, but I just want you to see what happens to a rubber hose. Obviously, we know rubber melts, we know mm -hmm. rubber burns. Yeah. But if think about this, if you want a hose that's gonna last for a really, really long time mm -hmm. in the hot sun, yep. that's, what, that's why you want the steel. Now, here's the other thing, and I know this is, again, counterintuitive, like just like it should weigh more, but it doesn't. It doesn't get hot in the sun, and that's the weird thing. People always ask me, well, it's steel. You know, it's like if you lean up against your car in the sun and it's super, super hot. Yeah. This is very reflective, so it's actually okay. reflecting the rays of the sun, not absorbing them like a dark car would. Okay. So when you touch this, when you pick it up, when it's been sitting in the driveway, it doesn't feel hot. God, okay, everything about this, it really is it's probably the last hose that you're ever going to have to buy. And that's why it's been so popular, and that's why everybody gets excited over it, because we've all yeah. lived through, and maybe you're still living through, the perils of the basic green garden hose. We've, they're heavy. They break. They kink.